one in this scene, Kim Mari received confirmation from Dr. Kim that Dr. Kim never went to Hedel Convalescent and Hospital with Jin Tae and never planned to publish a book as Jin Tae had said. This made Kim Mari suspect Jin Tae again. Plus, Sun Yeo had told Kim Mari that Sun Jung's cousin who was looking for Kim Uri was Jin Tae. After all, the suspicion speak, Kimari asked Jin Tae if there was nothing he was hiding from her. Kimari also mentioned Dr. Kim's confession, which differed from Jin Tae's confession. Here, Jin Tae used anger towards Kimari to avoid the situation. He said he was sick of Kimari constantly suspecting him. Then Kimari asked how Jin Tae could know Sun Jung even though Sun Jung had died 25 years ago. Before Jin Tae could give a reason to Kimari, Nayo had already given one. Nayong told Kimari that Jin Tae was looking for Sun Jung because of Nayong's request. Nayong explained that earlier, she had heard Kimari on the phone with the detective and Kimari mentioned Sun Jung's name. Nayong said that she saw Jin Tae worried about Kimari, so she told Jin Tae that Kimari seemed to be looking for someone named Sun Jung. Jin Tae was then looking for someone named Sun Jung with the intention of helping Kimari. When Kimari questioned the truth of Nayong's answers to Jin Tae, Jin Tae said that he didn't need to explain anything to Kimari anymore. At the end of the scene, Kimari blamed herself again for suspecting Jin Tae. In my opinion, Kimari shouldn't have asked how Jin Tae knew Sun Jung. Kimari should have asked why Jin Tae was looking for information about Sun Jung and Sun Jung by his illogical son Kim Uri. If Nayong could make up a reason why Jin Tae was looking for information about Sun Jung, I also want to know what reason Nayong would give if Kimari asked why Jin Tae was looking for information about Kim Uri. Okay everyone, that's the scene this time. Thank you for watching my video.